last year Houghton experienced one of the greatest campaigns in school history. The Bucks fell just 10 points short of a trip to the Superdome. Head coach Jason Brotherton says this is a new year. You know, we talk about, or we're going to talk about anyway, not letting, you know, good get in the way of being great. Uh, we can't be satisfied with that. That was a good season, but, you know, that's still not the ultimate goal. Those kids last year, if you asked them to a man, they would say they wanted them one, one more game. The Bucks lose a ton of firepower from last year's offense. Gone are the likes of C.J. McWilliams, Tristan Sweeney, and Matthew Witten. Then just a few weeks before fall practice, quarterback Peyton Stovall hung up his helmet to focus on baseball. You know, just that athletic ability. He was an athlete. He was, he was fast. He was, he was strong. He, he just knew what he was doing. He was a playmaker. He, he was a team leader. He, he really set the tone for our offense, and, you know, losing him, um, was, a, was a big loss, but I support him 100% in his decision. In steps sophomore Colin Reigns to take over under center. He is a smart, young, good quarterback. I, I like him. He's a, he's a great kid. He's got an arm on him. He played a little bit last year and he showed out. He started a game for us last year. It was, it was a big game. He started week 10. We're playing for a home playoff game at that point. And, you know, he threw four touchdowns, did great. So our kids have seen him do it. They believe in him. The Bucks could start as many as five sophomores on offense, so they're hoping a stout defense can hold them in games early in the season. With this 23 and 23, I'm Tim Owens. Thanks, Tim. 23 teams in 23 days continues tomorrow night with an inside look at the Captain Shreve Gators. And then on Wednesday, we go inside the huddle with the Calvary Cavaliers.